consciousness. What truly fascinated, fascinated me and fascinates me more than anything else is consciousness. And you may be wondering how this is all possible. Well, from I was a little boy, I understood that with my consciousness, I could do anything. I could walk through anything. And although I didn't have the knowledge of today or the learning or the studies, I knew that consciousness was vibration and I loved music. I played music. I sung, whether it was to notes, because I went to music school for a long time that I enjoyed thoroughly. But also I would sing to the plants and to nature, always. And so I knew that that vibration of my music or the music that I loved would actually change my consciousness, my vibration. I knew how to vibe up from a very young age. And I knew that when I changed my vibration higher, I was in a different consciousness. And funny enough, I always knew it was through the heart. So it's no accident because we are co-creating what we're putting out there. It might have taken me a little bit of time to understand it was about consciousness, but I did. And so it was no accident that I was led to many experiences, many of them very mystic, to different kind of studies, insights and self-discovery. So for instance, I would go on a silent retreat very innocently. And in these 10 days, I learned about Advaita Vedanta. And of course, a lot about self-inquiry, Ramana Maharashi, and coming into the heart. And that consciousness of the heart and for me, it was way beyond what I had received because I knew that already. And then no surprise, a couple of years ago when a very beautiful guru came to us and I asked, what are we actually doing? He said, you're doing heart consciousness. I don't know what that means, but you know. And so you see, life is always with you. When you are truly clear, about something in your heart, your seal, your zest, your truth. When you truly find your rhythms, even if you're out of your rhythms for some time, but you come back into them. When you start trusting your heart, when you are resting in the knowing that you are safe and you are taken care of, the things that are important are coming to you. So for me, number one, is consciousness. Yes, it comes with music and it comes with a few other things, but it's the essence. And of course, consciousness is energy and it's dimensions and it's vibration and it's frequency and maybe everything there is. So consciousness also came to me and I'm gonna look a little bit about my notes, so I'm really giving you what I promise. Consciousness also came to me, of course, in spirituality. Yes, there was a time when I was very interested in all kinds of spiritual explorations, whether that was through the religion or through star seeds to Acturians and this kind of thing. For me, it was always about the consciousness. And of course, here comes also meditation. How do you get in a state of consciousness? And of course, meditation and attention is the, the first way to get there. So yes, the fascination was always there. Then I studied very intensely spiral dynamics that came from psychology. Carol Graves, way ahead of his time. I was very fortunate to study with the late Dr. John Cook, who had a course at that time, um, Integral Practice. And yeah, it changed my life. 
because again it brought me into more than the levels of consciousness but again that assurance and that knowing we are spiraling out into a totally new consciousness into new horizons of consciousness new octaves new senates and so it didn't come to me by accident so consciousness is really a very important part for all of us it's not just about me it's just that it's one of the things that i'm here to share it's one of the missions that i have to unlock consciousness wherever i can with all the gifts that i have and just making sure again i haven't missed anything Ah, yeah, and of course, then a couple of years ago, consciousness architecture was given to me, and it's continuously been giving to, given to me, so that I can can journey with you, I can share the magic with you to actually come into the heart and to the art of consciousness and how to deconstruct, how to build, how to create, how to author this new consciousness that we're stepping into uniquely and collectively in this new earth, in this ascension, in homo luminous, whatever name may resonate with you. For me, it's all about consciousness. So I hope that helps you a little bit and I hope that gives you an understanding what my passion about consciousness is all about. And of course, in everything that I share, that I do, is consciousness. It's my spice, my magic spice. Thanks for being here today and catch you soon. Don't forget to check in the description for the link. There's more coming up about consciousness and consciousness architecture on our website. And of course, we are absolutely delighted to have you on board in this magic of consciousness as it is unfolding to us now, this year and beyond.